John Chrysostom de Sacerdotio, Episode 8. Kai heterodea pros tutois hemin efulatata ardrage tekai bebaya. Utegar epi patridas megethe heteros heteru malon fronen echen. And, he says, other things hetera, this is neuter, plural and nominative, the subject of efula tata, and other things also, kai de, in addition to these prostutois, tutois refers to what came before, namely their mutual devotion to studies and things like that. And other things also, in addition to these, were guarded, were kept safe with us, and these things were Ardrage and Bebaya, both Arage and Bebaya. Arage and Bebaya are also neuter plural nominative. The first, Arage, means unbroken, not broken, and Bebaya means secure or safe. They are being used as predicate adjectives to modify hetera. Efulatata, the verb in this sentence, is a third person singular, imperfect, indicative, and passive. The subject is hetera, modified by ardrage and bebaya, and other things also, in addition to these, were kept safe, were guarded, things both unbroken and secure, as we saw them. Hemin here is clearly masculine, plural, and dative, and I'm taking it as a dative of reference. It could also be construed as a dative of advantage. For, gar, ute, neither, there's going to be another ute following, but that would make the episode too long, so we'll take just this part. For neither, with respect, epipatridas megethe, or in light of the greatness of one's fatherland, could one, heteros, masculine singular nominative, this is the subject, could one, echen fronein, was one able to despise or look down. Echen is the imperfect of the verb echo. Echo, when it patterns with an infinitive, as it does here, fronein, means to be able to. It's synonymous with dunamai, or Latin passe, literally or woodenly have the doing of something. For when it comes to the greatness of one's fatherland, the one, ute, was not able to despise or look down upon the other, at all, or very much, we might say. Heteru, masculine, singular, and genitive. This is functioning as the object, though not technically the object, the object of phronane. The infinitive phronane here from phroneo, an epsilon contract, always patterns with the genitive case. You look down upon someone in the genitive, or despise. To summarize the whole part again, for... In terms of the greatness of one's fatherland, the one, heteros, ute, was not able, aken, to despise or look down upon the second one very much, or at all, malon. I don't recommend books I haven't read. This one by Rulof Brundel, John Chrysostom, Bishop Reformer and Martyr, in the Early Christian Studies series is an excellent read.